colleges across North Carolina required to admit illegal immigrants. There has been a firestorm of controversy since that policy was announced last week. Today, Attorney General Roy Cooper's office says it will review that policy. That decision comes after the community college system asked for advice on the policy. The president of the community college system, however, is defending it, saying it is not only the right law and policy, but the right thing to do. Christina Vitale headed to one local community college campus for a reaction on the latest developments. On the campus of Pitt Community College, undocumented students have been admitted for the past several years. College officials say the policy announced last week didn't change anything. It remains to be seen what the review by the Attorney General's office will mean here for those students and the open policy administrators have had here. So they're somewhat sympathetic because they had no choice. You know, their parents just brought them here. And once they finish high school, then uh, at, at, at some point, then there was no other opportunity for them. Pitt Community College enrolled nine students this fall semester, so I went to campus to talk to students about what they thought, and they had mixed emotions. I don't believe that because, because you're an immigrant, I don't think you should just be allowed to, you know, come to school here, you know. I think you should have to go through everything else and become an American citizen. I think everybody should have the right to have education. But officials at Pitt Community College say it's still not easy for undocumented students to receive that college education because they have to pay out-of-state tuition and are not able to receive financial aid, making it too costly. In Winterville, Christina Vitale, WITN News. The Attorney General's office has not said when the review will be finished. As far as illegal immigrants at ECU, officials there say the university is not required to admit undocumented students under the UNC policy, but they do welcome them if they meet all of the conditions laid out in that policy. Right now, they say there are no illegal immigrants registered at the university.